Speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety.
Where are the kids? Please, where are the children? Are they in the same place as the employees? No. Are the children safe? Yes. Oh. Can I see them? No. And that was it. That's all he'd tell me. <laughs> Probably because he knew I'd kill them all. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button.
Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Sound like the rich I know. Well, 
trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But, I always like that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Hmm. You know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, hmm, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm actually thinking about giving the role to you. Really? Yeah, really. Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath all that gruff. An honest, hardworking man. You prove me right? Uh, let's say your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, gee, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. I love you? I love you to the moon and back. 
I'm crazy about you. I'm lost without you. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? Number 1188. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. <clears throat> hey, Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but he's, uh, out, let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body, and you've made some real progress, pal. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, Dog Day, Picky Piggy, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. But look at you now. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Is his, uh, voice thingy still broken? Theo, nobody's gonna save you. This prison is where you belong. We'll let you out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're a puppy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird cat naps from the angel. There, honey. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little. inside themselves. That thing, Catnap, the prototype is his god, and this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate, and in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it, the prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run.
Ghost Update says, Fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. <laughs> Message is for all Playtime Company employees. At 11:01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact.
seat. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was... Well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know. You're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that, don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry.
happened here? this.
Log code 24459. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. Stubborn as he is, and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... <laughs> Ready to talk now, are you? I possess a question. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us, beat us, tear our flesh. Do you feel it? There's a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Or don't. Fight. Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> it excites me. Thank you. You thank me? Absolutely. I learn something new about you every day.
Good, you're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place. Thanks to you. You to keep going, Adam. Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why? This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. it was all over. They dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. For everything. As we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 